<laughs> Hello everyone. Hope you all had a great Monday. As for me, it was hot. Not so much work to do at work. But being Monday means spooky places. And this week we shall touch on the famous Bell Witch of Tennessee. The Bell Witch Cave and located in Adams, Tennessee. The Bell Witch of Tennessee's strange hauntings occurred in Robinson County between 1817 and 1821. Family of a local farmer named John Bell <clears throat> was plagued by a mysterious and violent spirit for nearly four years. The haunting involved spectral creatures, disembodied voices, unbelievable violence, and even resulted in the death of John Bell all at the hands of the infamous Bell Witch. The haunting began in 1817 when the Bell family began experiencing strange phenomena in their home. First, the house was plagued with knocking and rapping noises and scratching sounds. Blankets were pulled from the beds, family members were kicked and scratched, and their hair pulled. Particularly tormented was young Elizabeth Bell, who was slapped, pinched, bruised, and stuck with pins. At first, John Bell was determined to keep the event secret, but soon confided in friend, who then informed investigative, uh, the, an investigative committee. John Bell's friends soon learned that the strange force in the house had an eerie intelligence. It soon found a voice, and from that day on, was seldom silent. The spirit identified itself as the witch of Kate Bates, a neighbor of the Bells, with whom John had experienced bad business dealing over some purchased slaves. Kate, as the local people began calling the spirit, made daily appearances in the Bell home, wreaking havoc on everyone there. People all over the area have soon learned of the witch, and she made appearances in sounds and voices all over Williamson County, Robertson County. The ghost became so famous that even General Andrew Jackson decided to visit. He too experienced the antics of the witch and his carriage wheels refused to turn until the witch decided to lunt them. John Bell fell victim to bouts of strange illnesses for which Kate claimed responsibility. While he was sick in bed, the spirit cursed and prodded him, never allowing him to rest. One day he went to bed and never recovered. He was found senseless in his bed one morning, and a strange bottle was found nearby. Bell's breath smelled of black liquid in the bottle, so a drop of it was placed on the tongue of a cat, and the animal dropped dead. John Bell soon followed suit, and Kate screamed and tried. She even made her presence known at his funeral, laughing, cursing, and singing at the poor man buried. Kate didn't vanish immediately after the death of her proclaimed enemy, though. She stayed around threatening Betsy Bell to not marry the man that she truly loved, Joshua Gard Gardner. The witch would never say why, but she did allow the girl to later marry the local school teacher, Richard Powell. Kate soon left the family but promised to return in seven years. She did come back and plagued the family again for two weeks. She soon departed but many believe that she may not have gone far. Who was the Bell Witch? Was she really a ghost who claimed to be connected to a living person or did <clears throat> the resentment and the hatred of the real Kate Bates create an entity of its own? Or could the haunting have been poltergeist activity linked to Betsy Bell? No one will ever know for sure, but whoever or whatever the Bell Witch was, many believe that she has never left Adams, Tennessee at all. Near the Red River on the former Bell Farm it is, is a cave that has been called the Bell Witch Cave. Thanks to local legend and lore, many people have come to believe that when the spirit of the which departed from the torment of the Bell family, she went to this cave. Others, myself included, believe that the cave marks the entrance to a doorway through which Kate came into the world, departed, and perhaps even returns today. Who knows? But I can tell you that with the large number of bizarre incidents reported in and around the cave in modern times, notions of the witch returning may not be as odd as one might think. 
while the cave has come become quite famous in recent years there is little mention of it in contemporary accounts of the haunting it is believed that the cave might have been used for a cool storage of food in days in those days it remains a constant 56 degrees it was also mentioned in some accounts that Kate's voice was often heard nearby and one day Betsy Bell and several of her friends had a close encounter with the witch inside of the cave <laughs> well, I hope you all enjoyed the tale and wishing you always a spooky night. <laughs>